Okay, welcome back to the section on loops. We have gone through the section for for next loop, uh, where where we have printed the statement. I want I will bring my lecture notes uh, one thousand times. So the for next loop uh, is useful when we know the number of times which we want to repeat. Now, say you do not know how many times you want to repeat. Okay, a useful loop uh, structure will be to use the while loop. Okay, so the commonly used loops in programming are the for loop and the while loop. We will be going through the while loop now. Okay. Now, suppose in this example where you have to write a VBA program to read in the number, the marks of students until the user enters minus one. Now, then compute the average marks of all the marks entered. Now, in this case, it will be more useful to use the while loop since we do not know how many students' marks we have to enter. We only know that we have to exit when marks are. Uh, Enter as minus one. All right. Okay. So to do this, let's go back to our uh, Excel and inside code editor. So we we'll create a new method. Okay. Um, known as the enter marks. All right. Okay. So enter marks. Declare some a marks variable. Declare marks. Okay. Return as double in case we have a point five kind of thing. Okay, and also a, uh, a total max variable to store the total. Okay, uh, and we have a counter. Now, the counter is used to count how many students we have processed. Because remember, we have to calculate the average max, right? Which is the total max divided by the number of students. In this case, it will be stored in our counter variable. Okay, so it simply acts as its name suggests it's a counter. Now we do a while loop, okay? So while loop to enter students marks, okay? So while it starts with a while, okay, and it ends with a while when end, okay? Now this is the portion where we have to enter the condition. So the condition is while marks is not equal to minus one. Okay? Where while marks is not equal to minus one, we will continue to take in students' marks. So this is the important part about a while loop, where it will continue to loop through as long as this con highlighted condition returns true. Okay. So while marks are not minus one, we we'll continue to enter in marks. Okay. So marks. Okay. We ask the user for input. Input box. Okay. And uh, so enter marks. Right? Okay. So marks. Now we have to do this add. So marks. Okay, equals to total marks. Okay, plus marks. Okay, now what did we just do? Okay. Uh what we have done is okay, every time uh we go through we enter a repetition of this loop, okay, we take the marks that have been entered by the user and we add it to the verbal total marks okay so the next time round this happens okay when the second time someone enters a marks it will be added again to total marks so total marks in short is accumulating all the marks that have been entered all right at the same time we increment the counter okay represent that uh, each time a student marks is entered Okay, so each time the student mark is entered, we do a counter plus one. Okay, so what we are doing here and doing here is pretty similar. Okay, we're assigning the old total marks plus the new marks into total marks again. Okay, so the old value over here is replaced by this value. Okay, what we are saying is that we take this value here and we assign it to the value here. Similarly for counter. Okay, we take the old value of counter, increment it by one, assign it to counter again. Okay. So, uh, after this loop, okay, and when only when someone enters minus one, okay, this condition will return, um, will return uh, false, okay, okay, because max is equal to one, and then it will exit of this loop, okay. That is when we can have the total max, right, okay. So and then we can output. So let us output. Let's declare another variable called uh, average. Okay, as a double in this case, and average is equals to total max divided by counter. 
So this one give us the average marks. Okay, and finally we can output message box. Okay, so average marks equals to okay concatenated average. Okay, now let's try that. Run it. Enter marks. Okay, first mark is fifty marks. Okay, click okay. Enter marks again. Hundred marks. Okay, now let's say I'm done. I'll enter minus one. Okay. Minus one, and it tells me that the average marks is forty nine point six 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 seven. Now it somehow it seems slightly wrong, right? Fifty plus hundred, the average marks would be seventy five. Okay, so uh, say it's almost working fine, just that there's some slight bug in it, right? Okay, now to debug this, what we can do is we can run this thing in debug mode. Let me put a brick line again. Okay, run it. Alright, now the first time, max is 0, okay, carry on, okay, ask the in user input for max, put 50, okay, carry on, okay, now total max is 0, max is 50, carry on, Oops. okay, now you can see now that total max is 50, okay, uh, and counter also, okay, it's 0, okay, now it goes again to loop, Okay, because max is uh, still 50, okay, and then input, okay, 100, alright, 100, and then uh, carry on, carry on, carry on, okay, and then carry on, okay, enter max, okay, now enter, now we enter minus 1, okay, okay, now we see it still execute this statement, right, okay, so uh, what happens is only then now that it exists, it exits. So it is going through one more repetition which we do not want. Okay. So uh, what we need to do is we need to make sure that this statement is not executed. So what we can do is we can do if marks. Okay. Only if marks is not equal minus one, then we do this. Okay. And then we add the if statement. And we make it nicely. Uh, okay. Structured. All right. Now, this should do the trick that let's try it now without this. Okay, the marks 50. And the marks again 100. Okay, and the marks minus 1. And it gives us average marks is 75. Okay, now the program is working well now. Okay, so as a summary, declare the variables. We have our while loop here. Our while loop, we, uh, the while loop's condition is when marks, while marks is not minus 1. Okay, so if it's not minus one, ask the user for the marks. Okay, we check if it's not minus one, then we add marks, add it to the total marks variable, add one to the counter, and then we finish from re repetition and then we examine the loop again. Okay, so it loops through as long as the marks is not minus one. And then we calculate the average where we take total marks, okay, as accumulated here, divided by counter, which will represent number of times we have entered marks, and then finally message box, average marks. Okay, so that's uh, how we can use the while loop.